Hi everyone, Osmo here from the Blue Roof team. And today I have something really cool to show you. I'm really excited to show this. Zoho has basically made an enhancement to their workflow that is gonna save a lot of time and effort for a lot of us. Essentially what Zoho's done is they've allowed you to now trigger workflows based off of anything in a section being edited. So traditionally you'd have to make a workflow that says if the contact first name or the contact last name or the date or the email address is edited, run. Now you can say anything in this section, for example, the address, anything in the address section is edited, run. Anything in the main contact information is edited, run. This is gonna be a short video. I'm gonna show it to you very thoroughly, but it's a new feature coming out. It's not out for everyone yet. So who's piloting it, but it's coming out soon and it's gonna be awesome. So as always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you. Join my office hours. There's a link below. And in these office hours, we really focus on some of our core applications, West and Blue Text. And we also chat about just general so feel free to join. Love to see you there and uh, see you in the video. All right, so let's get into this. So where uh, this new feature is, is in the back end of Zoho under settings and then workflow. Let me just create a new workflow rule here. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do it for the accounts and I'm gonna say testing, right? Name it something. We've been through this in other videos. Traditionally, you would have an action here to run on create, create or edit, edit or delete. And traditionally, when you hit edit, you see you could choose any field or a specific field. And this is where it gets a bit annoying where, or it can anyways, where you would say, okay, well, if the street is edited or if the city is edited or, right? And, and so you can keep doing ors. Now there is a limit to how many ors you can do. So Zoho will hit you with that limit eventually. Not exactly sure what it is, but you will eventually hit a limit. I think it's five. So let's see here. Yeah. So you see here, you can't add any more. What they've come out with is this last option. And this is coming out soon. A really cool feature if you click here. So now you can say any field in specific section. This is a section. So you can see here, there's a section here with all kinds of stuff in it in our system, right? And so you can now say, okay, it's gonna ask you the layout because obviously you can have different sections and different layouts. In the accounts, we only have one layout. So if you had more than one layout, it would let you choose that. And then you can choose the sections. So I could just choose address and you can choose more than one. And the cool thing here is you can also do this, right? And so now what you're telling the system is anything in the address section, if it's edited, run. And so there's tons of use cases for this. It doesn't just have to be address. It could be a revenue section, really anything. And so the possibilities are quite large here on what you could do. And then the rest is just a normal workflow. So now you say anything in that section, and then you could be a bit more specific only if the deal is closed, only if the account is in Ontario, whatever, right? And then there, like I said, the rest is the same. This is something that is going to have a lot of applications. We're already seeing it in our business. We're revamping our workflows. I hope you like this. Like I said, this is a short video, but it's it's definitely very handy. It's very exciting. And uh, yeah, comment if you have any questions on it. Thanks for watching.